Hi, how are you guys doing all today? Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Uh, so uh, my name's Daniel Kim. Uh, I am the uh, founder of Lit Motors. Clicker working. Uh, basically what Lit Motors is, is that we have taken the efficiency and the romance of a motorcycle and integrated that with the safety and the comfort of a car. So we're basically taking the best of both worlds. Um, and if, has anyone here built a car before? <laughs> okay, so uh, I have. Uh, building a car is very hard. And if you uh, want to uh, start a car company, it's even harder. And if you want to take that car that you built and mass produce it, it's relatively insane. Um, I can prove this. I've done it before. I built two uh, basically uh, about nine years ago. So this is a video of me with the first car that I built. And so I basically doubled the efficiency of a Land Rover Defender. Uh, a little younger back then. Um, but, you know, I'm the only founder uh, who actually has a track record of building vehicles. <laughs> you get excited once you get it running, take it out the next day. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it's really important to, to be the one, if you're going to develop a web app or a web company, you want to be a web developer. If you want to start a car company, you should be a car builder, not just work for Ford or GM or et cetera, but you actually have to be the one who builds the car. Uh, so this is uh, the first, uh, the final product of my first company. And uh, basically, this project led me to think of, how do I cut the car in half? Uh, it makes a lot of sense. 70% of most people here drive alone. And uh, what we're doing here at Litton Motors is we are basically building the Ford Model T of the 21st century. So let me talk about that a little bit more. Um, what that really means is we're creating a sustainable uh, mode of transportation that's affordable. It's the same thing that the, Ford, that the Ford Model T did for the masses. And if you look at all the key risks, I, I'm sorry I couldn't make the font bigger, but there's a lot of risks to reduce. Um, but if you get the recipe right, you know, you have huge returns for 90 to 100 years. I mean, Ford, all the OEMs have proven this. And uh, what we've done with $800,000 has been astounding. Um, we've basically proven that you can, uh, you can reduce your major risks sub a million dollars. So we took a different approach at Segway. Uh, I took, everyone remember the Segway? Anyone? No one remembers the Segway? Uh, you know, what we did is we didn't focus on the engineering first. What we focused on, um, basically 80% of all our financing went into showing that there's a market. We reduce our market liability. Um, and we, you know, that would prove that there's a better business case to develop the technology. So uh, with our, a, a minimal viable product, we created a showroom. We built our own showroom in our lab. And uh, basically we started to, uh, you know, de-risk the market. So we brought in uh, basically 54 people and baby, uh, basically a baby boomer motorcyclist and a young urban professional. And we found out uh, through this qualitative uh, research study is that 15.7% of everyone who came into this simulated dealership experience put money down on the spot. 15.7%, that's 30 times than we actually need to have a viable company. So, you know, most investors will take the number that you feed them and divide it by 10 if it still makes sense. They'll still keep talking to you. Um, so, basically, every time I spend a buck, I want a 10x return. And basically, we, we, what we did with this uh, development phase is we killed six birds with one stone. Um, but the biggest thing that we took away from it is we, we started taking pre orders. Um, and this basically led to building our first drivable prototype. So we built it by hand uh, because I knew that the engineering, it doesn't matter how much time you're going to put into it, it's going to be wrong. So we saved $2.8 million uh, because we built a unibody chassis by hand. You don't want to invest in that money with a, like a, a, a really expensive uh, uh, stamp and die uh, because you know it's going to be wrong after your first iteration. It takes about six iterations to get to a beta. Basically, what we were able to do after about three months is have a driving full-scale prototype. And what this led to uh, is basically killing another six, uh, six birds with one stone. But uh, we had an accurate uh, bill of materials. We had an accurate vehicle weight, which is great for manufacturing if you want to do large-scale manufacturing at 50,000 units and above. 
but it increased, it created a huge amount of uh, media attention, which uh, increased our pre-orders. So now we're halfway sold out of our first production run without uh, an A round. And it also proved to investors that we could build it. Thank you. So this created a little bit more uh, of a, a bit of a media frenzy. Um, but you know, what we really took away from this entire experience um, was we uh, de-risked all of our hardware, um, at least to an alpha prototype. And now all we have to work on is actual the code or the programming. And we all know how you know inexpensive um, you know code can be. Uh, so. Uh, my name is Daniel Kim. Uh, the company's called Lit Motors. Please follow us or uh, on. And thank you very much.